Hey guys, so we are back and we are doing one on Alex here. So his links are down in the description. Check him out on YouTube as well. And let's just take a look through his Instagram, sort of uh, how he gets this look, sort of. So obviously, there's a really nice fade to this blacks and there's like a drop in the highlights as well. So you get this matte look throughout the entire image and then the image has very little contrast. So you get this very filmic cinematic look and then there's a nice haze to the images. So we're gonna be like dropping down the clarity and then those colors really pop. So we're gonna like bring out those yellows, bring out those greens and yes, not much use of grain, maybe a tiny bit yeah but sort of just bringing out the natural tones in the image and really accentuating them definitely go check him out guys his links are down in the description and let them know you found him through this tutorial and let's get into this one Okay, so getting into this one, we have done nothing to the cropping, but just looking at the settings f4 35 200 nothing crazy going on just preserving a bit of highlights probably and we obviously need to bring up exposure and as you can see we're not looking too good we're gonna have to bring out a lot of colors so we'll just do that first up um, definitely like the oranges the yellows greens just start off with a rough something like that and now we'll work a little bit with exposure so the mac look or the cinematic look bring down the highlights maybe not too much for this image uh, we want to make it more vibrant so we'll jump up the shadows bring some contrast in and then a bit of a pop with those whites and then clarity for that smooth look i don't want the digital look yeah and a bit of vibrance because we're going to have a bit of pop to the colors contrast down okay so i'm going to open up the curves now and they are already done so we want that little fade to those blacks there. So before, after you can see how we get that fade to the blacks now, uh, we get the the cut off from the whites. So before and after, that's this bit, that um, matte look to the whites there. And then uh, we want a little bit of a matte throughout the entire image. So we've got it in here too. So I played around with these highlights bring them down you can see how that gives that flatness there as well and then just played around with the contrast and yeah that's the curves there before and after it gives a nice shine to the image and then color channels absolutely nothing going on there okay so up here i'm just going to bring up the warmth a little and then let's head down to some luminance of the colors so let's make a few colors pop so let's just up the yellows maybe the oranges so that's like the path and a few other things greens maybe a little bit um saturation of the greens down maybe let's keep them up quite a bit oranges down we want a little bit of a blue color to our greens. Like they, they are a bit warm at the moment. So if we just go this direction, might warm up our image again. All right, let's come down. I might drop the sharpening. We want that smooth look, not digital. Up the denoise, that will give it a smooth look as well. Enable profile corrections, should have done that earlier. And then I might put a little bit of a vignette I don't think we need to touch grain. Yellows up a bit more. And maybe a bit more saturation to them. Uh, I think we just need some overall exposure. Bump up exposure again. But then I might bring down the whites. That will keep a bit of a flatness to the image. I might just bring up the warmth even more. I might take this vibrance down. And then maybe drop the contrast and then what i'll do is that we've got a little filter just brightening the middle and we'll do that ever so slightly i think we need like more shadow so i might bring up the dehaze kind of like that its effect on that and yeah um i think we are looking pretty good our greens no, they look pretty good. They could be a touch warmer, maybe. No, they're good. The yellows could possibly be more orange. 
in the blue the shadows are maybe getting a little too warm so we could go split toning shadows a little bit of blue in there you can see how that keeps that trunk not looking too purple let's see what happens when we bring out the warmth and then we've got a filter on the side here what I'll do is just drop this a touch it sort of just enhances the light coming from the left frames the image a bit more might just bring in more oranges or we'll make them a bit more red and then up their saturation and yeah I think we're about good pretty happy with that kind of want a bit more fade to those blacks Uh, yeah, it could possibly drop the luminance of the greens. Especially like this, this bit here is looking a bit bright. Just keep them where they were at the beginning. And then I have one other brush. What we'll do, if I press O, this is where it's affecting. And I just want to like lighten the leading lines or the sort of where your eye flows. So we'll just bring up the exposure a bit and then just bring up the contrast to make it stand out a bit more. Now I think there's probably too much fade to those blacks. But yeah, it's hard to tell with um, Instagram compression and it's just a screenshot off Instagram. So it's hard to tell in terms of like sharpness and stuff like that. But I might drop the texture a bit as well. maybe a tiny the tiniest amount of green and yeah might leave it there guys i'll show you our before and after so if we just go full screen here's our before and then even when we brought up the didn't look that great and then we brought way more color in gave it a lot of vibrance and gave it a nice matte sort of look to it again so here's the before after right guys that wraps up this tutorial go give him a follow down in the description comment other people you want to see so i can go find them on instagram and then ask them to be a part of this channel make sure you've checked out my free training if you haven't link down in the description all about color and the curves and that one two things people really need to know that isn't taught that much on youtube so curves color free training down in the description catch you in the next one